you won't believe this. I have a client who actually asked me when his parents will pass away so that he can get money from them. Now, sad to say, not everybody is being blessed with good children luck. Some of us are, some of us aren't. So, how do we actually see the quality of a children luck within a person's path chart? We see the hour pillar. So, within the hour pillar, we need to check for favourable and unfavourable elements. And at the same time, we need to check for, most importantly, clashes. Clashes within the hour pillar usually means very poor relationship with the child, especially during old age. Now, I highly encourage clients with this issue not to give their kids money, especially when they are already old. So, meaning to say that estate planning for these clients are extremely important. I have a client who actually gave her son $80,000 just because the son claimed that he lost money in his business. But the fact was that the son actually just wanted the money for himself. This is another example of what poor children luck can do to you. And in another case, I have another client trying to distribute her assets fairly before she passed away. But the fact was that she has three children and she has three properties. But the three different properties are valued at different prices. And because of this, the children actually quarrel over the distribution of the assets. Clashes within the hour pillar can affect your relationship with your children in the future. If you are in your 40s and your 50s, it will be great for you to actually read your puzzle chart to understand how we can actually plan ahead to prevent all these future unnecessary arguments. So understand your own puzzle, understand your children's puzzle, and see how you can live together in harmony. If you want to understand whether there's a compatibility between you and your children, feel free to send us a DM or follow us on our profile for more Feng Shui tips. Thank you.